Litany of Gratitude After the COVID Pandemic Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. After every petition, let us say together, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help, when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and distressed, depressed and lonely and impatient during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. To you be glory, now and forever. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord Jesus Christ shares us the new life in the waters of baptism. Let the waters of baptism that we have received not only cleanse us, but give us new life through healing. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength.
Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal Mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me wade. The water was up to my waist. Once more, he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade. For the water had risen so high, it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, this water flows into the eastern district down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea the salt waters which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore we fear not, though the earth be shaken, and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. 
There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its meads. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool called in Hebrew Bethesda, with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, it is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on the Sabbath. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today speak of water, ang simbolo ng tubig ay mahalaga po sa panahon ng kwaresma because we are recalling our own baptism. And during the Lenten season, it is also the time that we are preparing people for baptism. That is why you will notice that during the Easter Vigil, 
the priest or the bishop blesses water for baptism. And on Easter Sunday, all of us will be sprinkled with this water blessed by the bishop or the priest during the Easter Vigil. This reminds us of the new life given to us by Jesus in baptism. This is the symbol in our first reading today from the book of the prophet Ezekiel when he was given a vision of the temple with water flowing from the temple. And whatever place the water touches, there emerges life. Mga minamahal na kapatid, ang paalala po sa atin ngayon, ang tubig ng binyag ay nagbibigay ng bagong buhay. But Jesus also reminds us today in His action in the Gospel that new life only begins when healing begins. Magkakaroon ka lamang ng bagong buhay kapag mayroong kagalingan. That is why in the action of Jesus in our gospel today, when they were in the pool of Bethesda, where there is water for healing, Jesus healed the man who cannot walk, who cannot rise up, and reminding him that new life begins with healing. Magkakaroon lamang ng bagong buhay kapag hinayaan mong pagalingin at hilumin ka ni Jesus. If you want to start anew with life, you must let Jesus heal you. Kapag nais mong magsimula muli sa buhay, hayaan mong hilumin ka ni Jesus. Kaya hindi ka makapagsisimula muli kapag marami kang tinatagong sugat sa sarili mo. Ayaw mong magpatawad. Yan, no? Kaya kahit anong sabihin mo, I want to start anew. Gusto ko nang magsimula ulit, Panginoon. Pero tinatago mo lang ang mga sugat sa iyong sarili at hindi mo hinakayaang hilumin yan ng pagpapatawad. Nako, hindi ka talaga makakapagsimula muli sa buhay. At kahit anong sabihin mo na gusto ko nang muli magsimula ng bagong buhay, kung hindi ka rin naman humihingi ng tawad sa mga taong sinugatan mo naman ang puso, nako, hindi ka rin makapagsisimula muli ng bagong buhay. Mga minamahal na kapatid, ang bagong buhay ay magsisimula lamang sa paghilom ng ating puso at sarili. New life begins when healing also begins. As we celebrate this Eucharist, let us be reminded by the Word of God today that the waters of baptism give us new life through healing. Let Jesus give us new life through the healing waters of baptism. Amen. Please stand. The better we know God, the more we realize our total dependence on Him. Aware of our limitations, we pray in our helplessness to God the Father. For every petition, let us say, Divine Healer, lift us up. Divine Healer, lift us up that the leaders of the church may give their lives unsparingly in the service of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Healer, lift us up. 
that we may have the generosity of heart to offer ourselves and grow in our need to follow Christ who is meek and humble of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine healer, healer, lift us up, that we may have true spirit of humility in our dealings with the poor and the oppressed, and that we may recognize the presence of Christ in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine healer, lift us up, that the sick may find love and support from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, lift us up, that those who have gone ahead of us may be united with God in His kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, lift us up. Lord God, Father of the poor, conscious of our weakness and our pride, hear the requests of your people who are in need. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as Creator, for this our mortal life and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults raise up our minds and bestow both virtue and its rewards through christ our lord through him the angels praise your majesty Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is for their good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. So